right, I think we are live. Hello everyone. I would like to share with you today how you can get natural feature tracking, NFT or image tracking, easily going using WebAR Studio. I've released WebAR Studio last week and I thought, well, a lot of you guys probably just wondering what the heck is that now and what can I do with it? It's my attempt to make image tracking and many more in the future, many more tracking technologies, but for now image tracking easily and quickly available to all of you. Now, how to get started? First of all, you need to visit webbrstudio.tribal-digital.co.nz. It's hosted in New Zealand because, well, that's where I live. So get some background on me. I keep the console open because I would like to show you something there, but basically you load the page, you get a welcome greeting message and stuff, and then you get your WebAR Studio screen. That's basically your 3D world overview. Now you can zoom in, zoom out, and wiggle around. You've got your scene graph here for people that are already familiar with 3D software game engines. You've got a scene graph. And also important, you've got a player here, which is where you can see your scene once you hit play, like the play button. It's pretty similar to Unity, Unity 3D, for those of you who know Unity 3D. Now, get that away, yeah. Now, what I want to show today is how to make a quick project with NFT tracking. So, you select your root node. You say you want to have an AR controller, click on the root node again, and basically you see you've got an AR controller down there. Not at all important what is in there, just important that it is there. And you would like to create a AR trackable 2D, which is this one here. Here is your AR trackable component. It's going to say it's an NFT image tracking, and you see a little plane here that visualizes in the scene where your picture would be. Okay, now what you also want to do, you would like to, you should add something, some 3D object or 2D object that should appear once the mark is visible or once the image is visible. It needs to be a child of your AR trackable 2D. And we're going to scale that a bit up, so we're actually going to see it. So not, there's it. There's our cube. And that's, bottom line, that is, what, that is what you need to do. Now, the last thing that's missing is you need to tell it where is your NFT marker, meaning the image, the picture, that once it's visible in the scene, <clears throat> makes that cube, in this example here, the cube visible. But you can also import OBJ files into here to make highly sophisticated things available to animate whatever you like, basically. So I've got my trackable here. Now the trackable needs to be um, available in the web on HTTPS path. And that's it. Make sure you disable course cross-site scripting policies, but that's basically it. So that's where I'm hosting it. And now, yeah, you can hit play. And that's why I keep that open because my hosting page is not the fastest. So I can see how quickly, hi by the way, how quickly it's loading the NFTs. So that's one, that's the other one. And there comes the last bit of the NFT trackable. And now we're all set, more or less. Need to switch over to player. Because here, you don't see me all stretched. Here it's coming in in the right size. And now that we've got the trackable all loaded, you can see it's here. There's a bit of a clipping happening. I'm gonna fix that in the next versions. But yeah, that's basically it. And as said, you can add whatever you like to it. I just used a quick cue for the example, but uh, WebAR Studio is capable of importing OBJs, 
And with the OBJs, you're gonna, you can have shaders, you can write your own shaders if you like. You can go scripting, all is available to you. All right, then you click stop again, and that's it.